he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, Cannoneer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobby. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Ready? Fight! All right, here we go with round one. No denying the momentum that this young man brings to the table here tonight. He has won his last three fights, and if he wins a fourth one here tonight, he could just be staring at his first UFC title fight. If not, it might be a title eliminator. Bottom line, you win a fourth straight fight here, you are getting a high-profile pay-per-view slot here in the UFC. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Oh! The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Nice one-two there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, yes, man. Under two minutes in round one. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. He missed with that jab attempt there. Ooh, big shot land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes and counting him. Now landed for the king of Rio, Jose Aldo. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Cannonier. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp, and not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Alda. Left hook to the head. Single collar tie now. A swing and a miss by Cannoneer. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty Ready? good, not great, but some Ready? action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. 
Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. He got him. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Aldo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. Double leg. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Right, breathe and relax, man. Breathe and relax. Relax. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands. Ooh. 50 total strikes have landed for Jose Aldo. Well, and in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against Jose Aldo. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Great punch landed with so much power. 10 minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big body kick. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, lands another punch there. He's not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Aldo. Wow, he 
actually got the takedown. Let's go. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Straight right hand now just misses. Whoa! Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful. With Do you believe it? Oh, what a performance. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cannoneer! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. 